Hi, I'm Rhonda Voss, and today I get to uh, kind of walk you through the process of making the Islander Pattern Easy V Express Top. It really is quite easy to make. There are only three pattern pieces, um, and uh, the designer of the pattern, Janet Prey, uh, she promises that in an hour and a half you can have your top made. Um, for those of you who saw the dress that I made uh, using the pattern, of course, remember it's only a top, but in our next video, we'll talk about lengthening the pattern and making it into a dress. Um, I actually got up on a Saturday morning and um, put the dress together and wore it to a luncheon that afternoon. So it really is quite easy to do. So there's just a couple of little, maybe a little tricky things about the pattern that we'll walk through and make it all that much easier, all that much easier for you. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> now, some of you I'm sure are like me. I'm a very visual person. Um, typically I don't read patterns unless I'm doing it for you. Uh, when I was doing the So New So Alongs, then I would uh, read the patterns, but for myself, like I said, I'm very visual. And so if, um, if I'm a little bit confused on a pattern, then I will, you know, go to the pattern and um, kind of look through the pictures. And then, then if I can't figure it out, then I start to read. So um, I think it's always nice when you can have a visual about things. So let's just take a look at the pattern. There, like I said, there's three pieces, the sleeve, and it's a three quarter length sleeve. There are three notches, of course, the front notch, the shoulder notch, the back notch, um, super simple. And um, you could actually cut it off here, make it a short sleeve, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, hey. Just go to my sleeves on Saturdays and you can find all kinds of things to do. But anyway, it's just really, it's a very basic sleeve. The three notches, that's all you need to know about that. The back of the pattern, and it is a, it is a pretty, let's see if you can see it there. It's, it's a pretty generously lengthed pattern. So for those of us that like to have our patterns kind of come down over our hips, it will definitely do that. One thing I would like to say about this pattern is it is very, very generously sized. So on the back of the pattern uh, booklet, you'll see the all the sizing here. Um, definitely, I, I don't want to tell you to go down just because it might be a little bit too small, but definitely go for the size that's closest to your measurements. Um, I did do quite a bit of altering to the dress that I made, and in the next po or the next um, video, I'll show you the amount I took out. You know, because I wanted a very slim fit at the waistline, so I took out I took out a lot, a lot. So you'll see that tomorrow, and I have a feeling with the top that I'll probably do the same, just because I like things. Because this is a much more um, has a very kind of a boxy fit to it. So you know, if you want to slim it in at the waist, then you can do that. And I, I also, so not only did I slim it in at the waist, I even took it up in the arms. And um, if you've followed my blog for a while, I, I call my arms <laughs> kind of like chicken legs, you know, little skinny arms. But um, so the armhole is definitely quite generously sized. So if you have a little bit of a thicker arm, you shouldn't have a problem at all. Um, but then, like I said, in our next uh, video, we'll talk about the actual fitting that I've done. So now one of the things that I would like to say is the, the back is on the fold. Um, I would encourage you to put a seam at center back. I like a seam at center back because of the fact that it gives you one more place to do a little bit of fitting. And especially, you know, a lot of us have a little bit of a curve to our back and it's nice to be able to take it in right, right in the small of our back um, because it just looks really nice and it's a very feminine little touch. So if you put a seam down center back, I think you'll like it. It'll, like I said, it'll just give you one more place to help fit the garment. So now we'll take a look at the front of the pattern. And the bottom of the pattern is just, you know, very basic. And you can see here 
that it's it has a little bit of a curvature to it but not not a lot so it's it's fairly boxy so now here this is the part that actually creates so you've got your this is a, a fold back facing and then it comes up in this and then there's the pleat at the top this is your shoulder on this side this is the extension that goes around the neck so on this piece there are uh, dots that are in, it's imperative that you mark those so there's a dot here right at the neckline that definitely needs to be marked then here this is one place where I was a little bit confused um, figured it out though so um, anyway here are the two lines for the pleats now this is what's nice about this is that you actually sew in a pleat at center back so the back of the neckline lays very flat against your neck which is quite nice um, I've seen on some um, tops like this where they just gather the back of it um, which of course especially for manufacturing that's a much quicker faster cheaper thing to do so but with this an, a, a pleat is actually sewn in so you need to mark the bottom dots which tell you you know how because you will sew in this pleat so it's not just a tuck it's actually a sewn in pleat so you want to clip here at the top here at the center and if you look closely I do I like to clip the center just because it lets me know exactly where the center should be so there are two dots here at the bottom make sure to, to mark both of those and then two um, you have a dot here that to tells you because this is your shoulder seam and here's a dot that will tell you where you will pivot for it because you're actually going to clip to that dot and so you need to know exactly where to go so you can stitch to that dot and then clip and then stitch on so we'll talk even a little bit more about the neck sewing the neckline in our next post our next video so now one of the things that you will need to think about for the uh, shoulder is stabilizing the shoulder because of course it's knit and and um, knit just has a tendency to grow move do all kinds of things uh, what Janet um, recommends it's called design plus and it's um, straight uh, fusible stay tape and this is it here it comes in black and white so you can kind of match it to your garment not exactly of course but close enough and this stuff is really great um, I really like this a lot so you know see about getting a package get it in white get it in black both because you'll definitely use it a lot and um, I uh, when we kind of go back to pants then I'm going to show you a, a nice little trick on using this with your uh, pocket opening too which is really helps to stabilize the pocket so there's lots and lots of uses for this so make sure you get some of this and again design plus and it's also in the booklet so um, you, you'll have a written place that you can refer back to so now as far as the fabric is concerned you definitely need a lightweight fabric this is my sleeve that I've cut so it, you can see that it's um, pull them apart so it's quite lightweight nothing too thick um, because of the fact that the the back the center back of the neckline is very narrow and how she has you do it so that you have this beautiful clean finish at center back and, and along the, the back of the neckline you actually roll it up and you do this kind of a, a sandwiched kind of a thing where you and then stitch it and um, it really turns out quite nice so if your fabric is too thick then when you roll it up it's going to be difficult to get everything sewn in so it needs to be nice lightweight fabric um, I love bamboo and I like the fact that it has stretch in the crosswise grain and in the lengthwise grain uh, you know I just I think back about my grandmother and 
Oh, you know, she, she had some beautiful fabrics, but, you know, of course, all natural fibers, but um, she would have loved to have had what we have available to us today. So, again, lightweight fabric. Bamboo is great. Uh, you can get a lot of rayons out there that are uh, beautiful and um, will drape beautifully. And just like I said, make sure that it's a lightweight knit. All right. So now for the neckline. And this is where I got a little bit confused on the pattern. I wasn't typically, you know, you sew a pleat and um, the pleat is sewn on the inside. Well, this is basically this little the little pleat that comes around the neckline is actually uh, basically just a box pleat. So you're, you are going to fold it so that the wrong sides are together. So you'll match your notch up at the top, pin it down, and I always like to do a little cross pin here to know exactly where I'm supposed to end my stitching. So you'll stitch down Back stitch, finish off, and then you're going to fold it into a, a nice little box pleat. And so you'll bring the center together. The center, if you'll remember on the pattern, here I showed you that I like to clip the center, which when you fold this, then your center, you'll know exactly where the center is, and then when you bring it back, it's it's just easy to know exactly where the center is and to press it right in. So, so you'll see that it's a nice little box pleat, and this box pleat is on the outside of the fabric, on the right side of the fabric. But what's really nice is then the inside looks gorgeous. It's just one clean little seam on the inside. So then, once you do that, then you're going to take your two pieces, your two necklines, and sew them together. All of your seam allowances on this pattern are 3 8 of an inch, unless you do some altering, like I will be doing, but 3 8 of an inch. So you'll sew the two backs together, match up your pleats so they're nice and even, and you're ready to go. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is then you're going to want to stay stitch along where they tell where it said in the um, pattern instructions to stay stitch. It's very important. It'll help to keep your knit from stretching out of place. So box pleat um, at, for the neckline. I hope that'll make it a little more clear as you begin to sew. And so, like I said, in our in our next post. Our next video we will be doing um, putting putting it all together and should be a lot of fun so see you next time